Hi guys, this is Dr. Neda with Keys of Health. I hope you're doing well and taking good care of yourself. If you are following up on the world news, you probably feel the same as me, that our world is coming apart at seams. The big boys are playing their games and are becoming more reckless. And at least at this point, things are not looking up. But I never give up hope. As long as there is life, there is hope. I'm not a fear monger by any means. However, I am a realist, and I believe that we need to take precautions um, to the best of our abilities. I was initially not planning to cover this topic, but I have received so many questions about it that I believe I have to. I'm talking about nuclear radiation, which is becoming a reality in our times. We recently saw with bombings near a nuclear plant and with this increasing rhetoric about the use of nuclear weapons that it could, unfortunately, be a reality of our times. This threat is already being taken very seriously in Europe. I pray that it will never come to pass, but let's hope for the best, yet prepare for the worst. This leads me to my topic. What does potassium iodine have to do with all this? I want to start by sharing a clip, a news clip. Take a look. This is a nuclear power station. A basic explanation as to what happens inside these stations involves the heating of water to create steam. That steam is then spun inside large turbines which generates electricity. While these nuclear power stations are essential to our everyday lives, they can also harm us if they accidentally release radioactive iodine into the air outside their plant. So this radiation leak is a very real possibility, which leads to the question, what can be done about it? Stick to the end of the video because I will share with you the proper dosage and how to take it of potassium iodide. Now, going back to the topic, if radioactive iodine is released and a person is exposed to it, their thyroid will absorb it and can lead to all sorts of immediate and long-term long issues, including increased risk of cancer. The most important thing here is the level of exposure. The higher and stronger the exposure, the higher the risk of developing problems, complications associated with it. This is where potassium iodide comes in. It works as a prophylaxis. The idea behind these tablets, these pills, is to ensure you have enough iodine that your thyroid can handle. So when a uh, body is exposed to more iodine, including radioactive iodine, it will not absorb anymore. Of course, this is not all a person needs to protect themselves from the radiation. There are other protective measures, which I will cover in follow-up videos. But here, I will just focus on potassium iodide. You will need to take these pills as initial protection. By the way, these pills are nothing quirky or outlandish. They're commonly used in hospitals to treat various kinds of thyroid-related issues. They are handed out by Swedish government to the re residents who live within like 50 kilometer vicinity of nuclear plants. There is no known risk that comes with using them. The pills can be taken by infants, elderly, and pregnant women. In fact, young children and pregnant women should be treated first because young and unborn children are more sensitive to the effects of radioactive iodine. Potassium iodide is effective in initial protection against radioactive iodine. It does not protect from other sources or external radiation exposure. This is why it should be taken with additional precautions and other forms of protection to limit your exposure to radiation which I will cover in separate videos. Potassium iodide's effectiveness depends on how much time has passed from the time you're exposed to the radiation and when you take the pill. Ideally, the tablet should be taken several hours before the contact occurs. Usually, the authorities issue an advisory since they know in advance. That's what we saw in uh, the case of Chernobyl and Fukushima. However, in more drastic situations like war, which we are seeing in Ukraine at the moment, it is everyone's personal responsibility, at least in my opinion. It has to be taken every four to five hours until the exposure risk is eliminated. The suggested dosage by the New York State Health Department is what I'm showing you on the screen. Guys, there is no need to panic. Us panicking about a situation will not change it. What we can do is try to be prepared. Get some liquid potassium iodide and potassium iodide tablets. Eat healthy foods, especially fresh fruits and vegetables. Take your multivitamins. Lead a healthy, active, and proactive life. You will be fine. Humanity has pulled through much more daunting and unnerving situations. 
let's lift each other up at this time i will see you shortly with another video i have a whole lot of requests on topics to cover from you amazing people i haven't forgotten any of you bear with me i will get them done as soon as i can please subscribe if you haven't done so yet and show me some love by giving a thumbs up to the video take care goodbye